Y yo, bueno, a ver, yo no. Hello, Uncle Joe. Hey, are you ready? Ah, yes. Okay. Where did I start? So, so oh, uh, I don't know. Like, uh, I love like Ali. That's really good. Were you? Were you on Friday? Uh, what did you say? First book. We did the Bayan tree brand unit unit seven is finished. Uh, we were doing unit eight. One one two. Hey, have you ever read that? Ah, uh, yes. Finished. Oh, uh, I think not yet. We just finished like two paragraph or th uh, three paragraph, I think. Uh, not completely finished. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, oh. Because like, I read like second paragraph last week. Oh, yeah. So I'm, uh, yes. I'm supposed to start third paragraph. Okay. First okay. of all, you need to read quickly to get general idea. Uncle Joe and Key, please read quickly. And as you are alone, I will let you read.
Okay, I think it is enough. So you remember <clears throat> about this story, uh, this reading test. I will continue that one. <clears throat> read. Here. Okay. Uh, the golden hill offer up their luminous slope to the moon and other rose up in the shadow to it. Frontier with the light. Uh, in the desert factory of darkness and moonlight, they will regain uh, how can I say it? Regnet or something. Bring, bring the piece of work. Okay. Bring the piece of work in appearance and the silence of a trap and I fell asleep with thing. It it. Go on, read it. One I woke. Okay. Uh, when I woke, I saw nothing but the pool of the night sky for I was lying on a ridge of ridge with my M uh stretched out, facing that archery of star with no understanding at the moment of those stop. I was uh how can I say it? I Feast. was or ceased uh ceased by vertigo for waiting no room to think to no roof or tree branch between those top and me. I was already adrift and sinking, uh, abandoned to my fall like a driver. Mm. The golden hills offered up their luminous slope. Hills offer up their luminous. Luminous means bright. Uh, slope, you know, to the moon. The the hill goes this way, but the hill, the shape of the hill is like this. So you could see the slope. And others rose up in the shadow, rose up in the shadow to its frontier with the light. In this deserted factory of darkness. So deserted means except them, they want anyone. And moonlight they bring the piece of work. So there was a there was a moonlight and darkness. Because of the darkness, they they could be peaceful. And the silence of a trap, so it means it was totally silent. It was quiet. And I fell asleep within it. So the writer fell asleep. When I woke, so the one the writer woke up, I saw nothing but the pool of the night sky. So he, he still saw the night nice sky in the desert. For I was lying on a ridge with my arms stretched out. So at the time, you know, he was lying in the desert, facing that hatchery of stars. His, I think he, he was lying on the sand so he could see the stars with no understanding at the moment of those steps. So, you know, in the desert, there is San Jun. So he could not, he could not guess the depth of the San Jun. I was seized by vertigo. Seized means, seized means stop. Stop. Vertigo means, you know, when you look at things for a long time, you feel you become, you come to feel dizzy. You come to feel dizzy. That is called vertigo. For, you know, dizzy, you feel dizzy. For, for with no root to cling to, when you feel dizzy, you must hold you something. Uh... But here, you know, in the desert, he could not hold the root to cling. Cling means hold. Or no root or tree branch between those steps. They, they, it, as it is it is the desert there is no tree so he could not hold the root or the the roof or tree branches to hold I was already adrift and sinking abandoned to my fall like a diver so he fell down again because he was he was feeling dizzy You know, he is des describing describing the sun like water because he fell down like a diver in the desert. I want you to do number C. 
actually I have already taught some students that you missed that part. Uh, key number C, number one, read. I want to continue, but uh, I missed okay, it. Yeah. Right, number two, number three, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, can I need the topic? Read the topic? Yeah, of course, you need to okay. read the, the instruction. Choose uh, the correct answer. Choose the correct answer to each of the uh, following one of each or the extract. Write the complete sentence in your notebook. Mm. Uh, for number one, the other thing that the star are like order, order, the order. Uh, sorry, the orders are like the thing jewel. Yes, why? Why do you want to choose jewels? Uh, your the, answer is correct. Like because like, oh, uh, the fact in the first paragraph. First paragraph. Yeah. Oh, uh, like they harden uh, in diamonds, mm. like. Mm. A shaman in green water, it will be a long time yet before they harden in diamonds. Diamonds, yeah. yeah. So it means well, uh, jewels. Uh, How yeah. about number two? How about number two? <clears throat> number two, the other is waiting for um, daylight. The other is waiting for daylight. a beast or manx. Do you know rescues? <laughs> uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. There are some choices tri and rescues, a feast, manx, and daylight. I think daylight. Why do you want to choose daylight? <clears throat> Why do you want to choose daylight? Um. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Z. Why do you want to choose daylight? Um, wait. I'm still thinking. Second paragraph. The answer is in the second paragraph. Oh, this will pick which one? The second paragraph, fourth line. Fourth line. Uh, <laughs> the one we were waiting for the dawn. Dawn. That was safer, yes. Yes, dawn means early morning. Got it? So uh, it means yeah. daylight, of course. And next, number three. <clears throat> next. Uh, the order see the the order see the sun dance. Sun Jones. Sun June, sorry. Sun Jones. You know, like a hill. Sun Jones. Uh, are you? Yes, correct. Why do you want to choose Sun Jones? Uh, it was in that paragraph. What does it say? Oh, wait. In the in the yeah. first line, oh, okay, yeah. The golden, the golden hills offer up their luminous slope to the moon. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. so, okay, I will do number three too. Number three, read read the instruction number eight. <laughs> okay, three uh, a. Uh, a. Uh, give synonym which could exactly replace the ten walks in all in. Mm. So you need to find out synonyms. Synonyms means same words. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> uh, you are given shimmery. Shimmery is from the test. How do you understand my shimmery? Instead of using shimmery, which word are you going to use? Uh, uh, for shimmering, it's like a flashing. Mm. Shimmering means flickering, shining. Uh, flickering. F L I C K E R I N G. Flickering. I don't know about flashing. How to spell? Uh, I spell the S H I N G. Yeah, I know flash. Uh, it means sprinkling.
Shiny, yes. Flashing, shiny. Ah, yes. Yeah, you can use it. How about number two? Read. Uh, huh? Witness. Oh, uh, witness. Uh, I think for witness, notice of something. Witness means you, you see, you know that. Ah, uh, see, yeah. Do you know the meaning of witness? Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, you see. So like, in this case, see, observe, they are possible. See uh, or okay. observe. O -B -S -E -R -V -E. O-B-S-E-R-V-E. Observe. Yeah. How about number three? Indefinable. Define, you know, define, definition. It's like indescribable. Yes. Indescribable. Yes, correct. Indescribable. I N, I N, I N D E S C I A B L E. Indescribable. Uh, for number four, thank <laughs> you. Okay, go. Cool. Okay, Hello. infinitely oh. is mean like endless. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, infinite endless, yeah. infinite means endless, endless means. Endless, yeah. Endless it's like a song song she right? Yes, yes. Ah, yes. Boundlessly. Boundless, you know power? There is a limit. Ah, yes. Boundless means no limit. So boundlessly, endlessly, correct. How about uh, number five? Yeah, destitute. Uh, Where do you see like destitute? Poor. Hmm? No. Like exhausted. Hmm? Where is destitute? Right. No, no. I mean, where is destitute? I... Destitute is uh. infinitely destitute, right? It's just like that. Uh, I... Yeah, it's infinitely uh. means. Means you know, poor, poor, lucky, yes. yeah, lucky, lucky yeah. or poor or lucky, poor or lucky. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This means like same with you, right? Mm. But in this case, uh, yeah. uh let no food. In this paragraph, we must not oh, okay. say like that. No food. It's like Just foodless. Okay. No food. Which, that we can see that way. And next one, austere. How do you understand my austere? Uh, discipline. Austere. Austere means the via harsh. Uh, street. What about street? Huh? What about street? What? Uh, I see. I see. Oh, you mean straight? Straight, yeah. Straight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sort of, but it is more like hush. H-A-R-S-H, -H, hush. Period. Hush means strong and quite serious, not mild. This is called austere. Hush. H-A-R-S-H. -H. How about number seven? Luminous. Uh, oh, it's not luminous, right? Well. It's being like uh, brightening Bright. or shining. Yeah. Bright. How about frontier? It comes from front. Uh, front, yeah. Uh, how about frontier? I mean, I don't know about it. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm saying that frontier is the same. You know front, in front of. Uh, like yeah. Front, front. I found front. Yeah. Yeah. So frontier, it means border. Border. Uh, which one border? Borderline area. You know borderline like, area. Near that. Yes. Sort of. Oh, okay. So, in this case, uh, frontier means border. Now. Next one is ringed. I don't know about it. Ring is another word for ring is rude. The back end 
has ring for about three years. Uh, how do you spell? R-U-L-E. R-U-L-E, rule all. Okay. Rule, rule. Do you know? Uh, yes. Um, the bad king called Kim Mindo ring Yama for some years. That is ring. Oh, not King Mindo. King Tibo Tibo. King Tibo ring Yama for some years. That is ring. Oh, okay. It means rude. I okay. got it. How, how about Vatico? Uh, it's mean like uh, Dixie Nags. Dizziness. You feel dizzy, right? Yes. That is for dizziness. Okay, that's all for this reading test. I will continue 8B. Eight B. The Bushes result. Do you see that? By the way, have you ever watched or read the Jungle Book? No. Or uh, the mankind stay together with the the animals in the forest. About that, eh? That is about this story is about the jungle book. And here, uh, can you read next one? Text eight B, page number one one three. Read up. Read the instruction first. Every okay, eight B. Um, text eight B. Uh, which one? Instruction. Yes. Okay. Text eight B. Uh, text eight B is an extract from the Jenga book. It's take of the boy more uh Barkley being found and what happened at the concert of the wolves. Uh, the wolves or wolves okay. wolves. Okay. Yeah, no, it never got it. The wolf called them the uh, free people. Mm. The name of the book is the Jenga book. Uh we it has appeared as a film. It tells of the boy Mowgli. You can learn about Mowgli, the mankind, who stay together with the animals in the Please. in the forest. Please. And what happens at the council of the wolves? The wolves, they, they had a meeting, council meeting, and they uh, they discussed the mankind, whether they should kill or they should keep the mankind, sort of things. The wolves call themselves free people. Okay, that is the background information. Actually, this story is just for knowledge, and I will let you know, I will let you read. That's all. No tax for this. No tax for this. So first of all, I want you to read it to get general idea. Later, we will read up. So okay, I will give you a few minutes. I want you to read it okay. very quickly to get general idea.
Please start reading. The bushes rustled. <clears throat> Hello. Can you read? Ah, uh, yes. Mm. The voice just resolved. Um, the bunch of rats are little in the thicket and father wolf dropped with big punches under him, ready for his leap. Leap. Uh, he made his bound before he saw what it was he was jumping at it. Then he tried to stop himself. The result was that he shot a tried into the air for four or five feet, landing almost where he left ground. Mm. So in the first paragraph, you know, the bushes rustled. Bushes, you know, bush. Uh, Rustle yes. means the, the the sound of the leaves. The sound of the leaves. So it means that the bushes move a little in the thickness. And Father Wolf, the male wolf, dropped with his hunches under him. Ready for his leap. Leap means jump. He was about to fall something. Uh, sorry, he was about to step on something. Sorry. And he he had to jump quickly. He made his bound before he saw what it was he was jumping up. So he jumped. And he, he was about to step on something. Then he tried to stop himself and the result was that he shot a straight into the air for four or five feet. He was trying to step on something, but when he saw the man guy in the air, he stopped. The result was that he shot up straight into the air for four or five feet, landing almost where he left ground. So he he didn't step on that that thing. Born man, he snapped. <clears throat> he go read it. Man, he snapped. Okay. Oh, man, he snapped. A man cop looked directly in front of him, holding on by a low branch. Stuck a naked brown baby who could just walk. He looked up into Father Wolf face and love. Is that a man cub? said Mother Wolf. I have never seen one bring it here. A wolf uh, accustomed to moving his own cub can if necessary mount an Mop. egg without breaking it and thought Father Wolf jaw close right on the old child Ties back, not back. Food, uh, even, even scratches. The skin uh, the skin as he lay it down among the cups. cups. Man, he snapped. A man's cup. Cup means baby. Oh, this is a man kind. Baby cup. A uh, baby. Oh, it is a baby. Look. Directly in front of him, holding on by a low branch, stood a naked brown baby. Who could just walk? So that, that baby could walk. A little, he looked up into Father Wolf's face. The mankind, the baby, was looking at the wolf and laughed. So the the baby was laughing. Is that a man's cup? Said Mother Wolf. So the female wolf. Oh, it is, it is, it is a human. I have never seen one bring it here. I have never seen a a human. Please come and show me like this. Go on. A wolf accustomed. Okay. A wolf accustomed to moving his I was uh own cups. 
you want to read again? Mm-mm. Okay. Uh-huh. Abu, uh, uh, Abu accustomed to moving his own cup can, if necessary, mount an egg without breaking it and thought father wolf jaw closed right on the old chai bag, not a tooth, even scratched the skin as he laid in dull among the cups. Cups. Mm. So it means like, you know, a wolf accustomed to moving his own cups can. Um, they know their, their movement is not the same as human beings. So they they know how to, they, they are, they are, they are wolf cups movement. Mark an egg without breaking it. And though father wolf's jaw closed right on the child's back, not a tooth even scratched the skin as he laid it down among the cups. So it the whole paragraph is like he took he took that mankind among the man among his children. His children mean his men, his cups, his cups, babies, the wolves. We call cups, C U B F cups. Oh, yes. So he, he took the baby, um, the mankind very carefully. So it means that he didn't want to give danger to that mankind. Oh, how little, how naked. Okay, how little, how naked and how bold said Mother Wolf softly. The baby was pushing his will between the cups to get close to the warm tide. Now was there ever a wolf that could pull off a uh, of a man cub among her children? Mm. Oh, very little, right? It means how naked. So the the human the baby was not wearing anything. How bold! How clever! Right? Brave. Bold means brave. Oh, the baby cub is brave. They are talking to each other. And the baby was near their children, their cubs. Okay, that's all. So they put the 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 human baby near their children, their cubs. Go on. I have had now and again of Okay. I've had now and again of such a things, but never in our pack or in my time, said Father Wolf. Uh, he is all together without hell, and I could kill him with a torch of my food. But see, he look up and is not afraid. Mm. I have had now and again of such a thing. I have ever had about human being, but never in our pack or in my time. Pack me a pack of wolves. A pack of wolves me a group of wolves. But we have never seen human, a man, a man, a man, the wolves. He is altogether without hair. He has no hair. And I could kill him with a touch of my foot. So I could stop him to kill, but I won't. You know, so they, they left that human, uh, that mankind. But see, he looks up and is not afraid. Although he is small, he is not afraid of us. He is looking at us. They are talking about that humankind. And I will read the last uh, two lines. The moonlight was blocked out of the mouth of the king. For sheer cans, great square hat and shoulders were thrust into the, the entrance. At the time, you know, the moonlight was blocked out of the mouth of the king. So because of the moonlight, sheer can, another character, sheer can, it is the name of the tiger, great square head and shoulders were thrust into the entrance. So Shiakan was looking at the wolves and the mankind. The tiger was looking at the wolf family and the mankind. So that is part one. Now I will continue the second part. Go on reading. Shiakan does as great honor. Okay. Uh, sure can there's a great honor said father who bet his eye were very angry. What does Shuriken need? My quarry. My quarry, a man cub. When this way said uh, Shurikawi yes. is 
Now, uh, his parents, parents have cut off. Give it to me. Mm. Go on, Rene. I have to speak. Okay. Uh, but father who knew that the mouth of the cave was too narrow for a tiger to come in by, even where he was, share a can, shorter than four paws, well, camp for one off room. Go on, Rene. The wolves are a free okay. people. The wolves are free people, said father wolf. They take order from the head of the pack and not from an strip bed. Strip bed cut. Uh, any striped that uh, dog killer. Any striped cut or killer. The man cop is our to kill if we choose. Uh, do I need to read? Yeah, yeah, choose. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, choose and yeah, don't not, yeah, do not choose. Uh, what talk is this of choosing? Hey, it is I, I Sarah hey, can hey. will speak. Mm. Here can is the name of the tiger. I have already told you. Here can does as great honor, said Father. But his eyes were very angry. So it means the tiger was very angry. What does here can eat? My inquiry, a man's cup. What this way, said here can. I saw the man cup, the baby cup, the baby. His parents have ran off, you know. The parents have ran off. Give it to me. Please give. I will eat it up. But Father Wolf knew that the mouth of the cave was too narrow for a tiger to come in. So, uh, you know, they were in the cave. So the tiger could not get into the cave because the tiger is quite big. Even when he was, here comes shoulders and Four paws were crumped for one of room. So even the tiger trying to get into the cave, the, tri the tiger will be stuck at the entrance because the tiger is quite big. It means like that. Crumped means like The wolves are a free people. Free people means they don't need to listen to the other animals. The wolf says. We don't need, we don't need, you have no right to say, to give order. It means like that. They take orders from the head of the pack. They just listen to their leader. Leader, the he, leader means head. Of the pack means the group of wolves. The head of the pack. No need to listen to the tiger. It means like that. Not from any stripe. Stripe, stripe cutter killer means, you know, cutter means, Cow, buffaloes, we call cattle. Stripe means, you know, the tiger has got striped skin. You know that. A Xinjiang name. So that is called striped. So tiger kills the other animals. So cut, especially tigers kill cows and buffaloes. That is why striped cut the killer. The man cub is ours. To kill if we choose. The man cup is ours, not yours. We will consider, we will decide whether we should kill it or not. Like this. Yeah, choose. Yeah, do not choose. Okay, this is our choice. What talk is this of choosing? It is I, Shere Khan, who speak. Oh, I'm talking. I'm Shere Khan. I'm the tiger. I'm ordering you. Like this. And they are talking. The tiger and the wolves are talking to each other. They are arguing for the mankind. Okay, let's go to the next paragraph. Ki Wong. The tiger's roar. The tiger roar filled the cave with Dano. Mother wolf shoe had the clear of the cup then uh, sprang forward. Her eyes. Like two green moons in the darkness, facing the blazing oh, eyes of Sherakan. Mm. Go on, reading up to he shall hunt thee. Okay. Huh? And, and, it, and it is I, uh, Raksha, the dumb demon, demon. Uh, who answered the man cop is mine. Uh, Lungry mind me, he shall not be killed. He shall live to run with a pack and to hunt with a pack and in the arm 
Look, you honor of little naked cup, brought either fish killer, he shall hunt. B. The tiger's roar filled the cave with thunder. It means the tigers roared very loudly. And Mother Wolf shook herself clear of the guts. You know, there is the sign of danger. So Mother Wolf show the sign to uh to to her cups cup me baby wolf and sprang forward run forward means they are uh you know the wolves are also ready to fight back her arms like two green moons in the darkness they are they are also angry facing the blazing eyes of Shere Khan Shere Khan was also angry so their eyes or the Wolf's eyes, green moons. For the sheer come, blazing eyes. Blazing means, you know, it comes from fire. So blazing eyes means sheer come was also angry. The wolves were also angry. And it is Russia, the demon, he said. The man's kind is mine, Langari, mine to me. He shall not be killed. The man's kind is ours. We won't, we won't kill. And you cannot kill the mankind too. He shall live to run with the pack. He can live together with their babies. They are, they are wolf cubs. And to hunt with the pack. And in the end, look you. Hand out of little naked cubs, frog eater, fish killer. He shall hunt thee. You know, although he lives in the forest with the wolves, he can, he can make his own food by killing the fish or frog so he can make food that way he can survive it means oh father wolf looked on amazed he go on. okay father wolf looked on amazed he had almost forgetting forgotten the day when he won mother wolf in fair fight from five other wolves, when she ran in the park and was not for the demon for compliment's sake, uh, Shurikhan might have faced father wolf bad. He could not stand up against mother wolf, for he knew that when he was, she had all the advantages, no, sorry, advantage of the ground and would fight to the death. So he back out, back out of the Cave mouth hey. bro growling, 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 and, growling. Okay, growling. And when he was clear, he shouted. Mm. Father Wolf looked on amazed. Father Wolf was a bit surprised. He had almost forgotten the days when he won Mother Wolf in fair fight from five other wolves. When she ran in the pack and was not called the demon for compliment's sake. So that paragraph. You know, uh, Father Wolf remembered that, you know, his wife, Mother Wolf, could fight well. And even, you know, he was about to lose in one one fight. So it means that they, they were good at fighting. So Mother Wolf was also good at fighting. It means like that. And then they, what did they do? And they they also frightened the tiger and they growled. All right, and they shouted. Each dog go reading up to the end. Each dog barks in his own shot. As you are alone, you have to read. Come on, come on, read. This reading text is quite long. Okay. Okay, Uh, Each dog bark in his own yard. We will see what the park will say to this fostering of man cub. The cub is mine and to my teach. He will come in the end. Oh, bosh, tail. Uh, thieves. Thieves. Uh, thieves. thieves. Yeah. Mother wolf. Uh, mother wolf threw herself down painting uh, panning, panning among the cubs and 
father wolf said to her gravely, Cheryl can speak this much. To uh, the cop must be shown to the park. Oh, uh, will those still keep him, mother? Uh, keep him. She gasped. Cups. Uh, she gasped. He came naked by night, low and very hungry. Yet he was not afraid. And that lame butcher, uh, butcher, 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 yeah, yeah, butcher would have killed him and would have run off to the. Way Gunga, mm. why? Uh, Wayne Gunga, why? Uh, why the villager here yeah. had to uh, drew all our layers in revenge? Keep him, uh, as you readily. I will keep him, like the little frog, old dog Mowgli. For Mowgli, uh, the frog I will call. Feel the time will come when thou will turn shuriken as he has hunted thee. Mm. And the first one is that each dog barks in his own yard. We will see what the pack will say to the fostering of man caps. So they, they are arguing whether they should keep the mankind or not. And but they want to decide on their own. They don't want to take order from the others. The cup is mine. To my thee, he will come in the end. And mother, and then they are fighting, uh, they are arguing with the tiger. And mother wolf threw herself down, panting among the cups. Father was up to her briefly. And they are talking about the mankind, it means. They are talking about the mankind. They want to... um. They want to decide on their own whether they should keep the mankind with their cups or not. The name of the mankind is Mowgli. They say Mowgli in the uh, here. Assumingly, I will keep him. Lie still, little frog, Odo Mowgli. For Mowgli, the frog I will call thee. The time will come when thou with hench here come as he was handed thee. Okay, go on. So it is all English. They were talking about the mankind and they wanted to keep the mankind with their cups. Go on, next part. Uh, Father Wood, Father Wolf. Wait. Uh, Father Wood waited till his cop put Brand a little and then on the night of the park meeting took down and Mowgli and Mother Wolf to the console rug, a hill dog covered with stones and Bodo well a uh, hand wolf uh, could hide. Akilo, the great grey Bodo well a uh, uh, great grey lone wolf uh, who led all the park fire but strange and cunning. <coughs> Uh, lay out at full lunch on his rock, <laughs> and below him sat forty or more wolf of every size and color. The lone wolf, uh, the lone wolf had led there Let for him. a year now. He had fallen twice into a wolf trap in his year, Jude, Jude, and Jude, and was <laughs> or was he had been beaten and left for dead. Uh, so he knew the manners and. A uh, custom of man. No, uh, there was very little talking at the rock. Akido from his rock would cry, "He know the Lord. He know the Lord. The well, oh wolf." Okay. Father Wolf wondered till his cubs could run a little. On the night of the pack meeting, now they are having a meeting with the other wolves. That is called pack meeting. Pack me a pack of wolves. It means a group of wolves. They are having a meeting for Mowgli. Mowgli and Mother Wolf to the council rock. They are sitting on the rock. Where is that rock? A hill top covered with stones and boulders where a hundred wolves could hide. So they are having a meeting at the top of the hill where there are many stones so that the wolves could hide behind the stones. Akila, the great grey long wolf, another wolf. The name of the wolf is Akila, 
who led all the back. So it means the leader of the wolves is Akila. They are leader. By strength and cunning, he is quite strong. Lay out at full length on his rock. So he is on that rock. Below him sat 40 or more wolves of even size and color. So there are about more than 40 wolves. They are heavy and meaty. The lone wolf had led them for a year now. So uh, that uh, the name, Akila has been the leader for about a year. He had fallen twice into a wolf trap in his youth. And once he had been beaten and left for dead, it is about Akila. Akila has ever trapped when he was young and he could beat. So he knew the manners and customs of men. So it means Akila has ever killed the mankind. So Akila knows about, about the men. The customs mean the habits of men like this. There, were, there was very little talking at the rock. So they didn't talk that much. They were quiet. They were thinking. Akila from his rock woke crying. You know the law. You know the law. You know, even in wolves. There is the law. Look well, oh wolves. Okay, you know the law, you know the law. They, you know, before the meeting, uh, the leader starts that. The leader started the meeting that way. Go on, at last. He re re <clears throat> at last. He re at last. Okay. At last, Father Wolf pushed Mockley the frog into the sandal where he saw laughing and playing with some people that. Bubbles. Uh, uh, that glistened. Mm. Uh, Papa's dead, glisten in the moonlight. Mm. Akilo never raised his head from his pole and moved a uh, muffled. Mufflet, mufflet, a muffled, okay. uh, muffled oh. rock came out from behind the rocks. The voice of Shuriken crying, The cup is mine, given to me. What have the free people to do with a man cup? Akilo never even twitched his ear. All he said was, Look well, old oh, wolf. Mm. At last, Father Wolf pushed Mogali the frogs into the center. So Ma Father Wolf put the mankind into the center of the wolves, where he sat laugh, laughing and playing. At the time, the mankind was laughing, playing with some pebbles. Pebbles mean small stones. Small stones. Those pebbles were glistering, so it means that those pebbles were bright and flickering in the moonlight. Akila never raised his head. A muffled roar came up from behind the rocks. You know, Akila, why Akila was there? They heard the voice of Shirkan crying. You know, Shirkan, the tiger's roar. The cup is mine. At the time, Shirkan said, It is the, the baby, the, the man cat is. Mine, give it to me. So it means, you know, the tiger was asking the baby cub, give him to me. What have the free people to do with a man's cub? The free people means wolves. Akila never even twitched his ears. All he said was, look well, O oh wolves. At that time, Akila didn't care. Akila didn't care the tiger. It means Akila also, Akila was not afraid of the tiger too. Go on. There was a chorus of deep growls. Come on. Read. Okay. There was a chorus of deep growls and a young wolf. Growls, growls. Oh. Deep growls. Oh, growl, sorry. Deep growls and growls. a young wolf in his 
Fodio, Flankback, Shuriken, Fashion to Akilo, quite of the free people to do with a Moncalf. Uh, now the Lord of the Jungle lay down that if there is any dispute, dispute, uh, dispute. dispute, uh, dispute as to the right of a cop to be accepted by the pop, accepted. he must be, uh, okay, he he must be spoken for by a, at least two members of the pop who are not his father and mother. Hmm. At the time, you know, they were arguing that the wolves were not afraid of the tiger, they didn't care, and they were growling. And then a young wolf in his foot, he had flung back, he has some questions to Akila. What have the free people to do with the man's cup? Now the lord of the jungle lays down that there is any dispute as to the right of a cup to be accepted by the pack. So it means according to the law, they will decide whether they should keep this man cap. If there is any dispute, dispute means argument. That is the what right of us, uh, the right, this is their right to stop. No need to stop by the tiger. He must be spoken for by at least two members of the pack who are not his father and mother. So it means that the tiger was asking for the baby cub, but the wolves were not. Uh, the wolves didn't care and they wanted they didn't want to give the baby cub to the uh, to the tiger oh, who speaks for the cub for this cub um okay um you know, who speak all right mm. uh, who speak for this cub said Aquilo among the free people who speak there was no answer that mother wolf got ready for what she knew would be her last fight if things come to finding, then oh, really? the only other creature who is allowed at the park council, uh, Balu. Balu, uh, Balu, the sleepy brown bio who teaches the wolf cop, a lot of the jungle, or oh, Balu, uh, who can come and go where he please because he eat only no uh, nothing, uh, roots and roots. honey. Uh, rose upon his hand, cuddle, cuddle, uh, and granted. Cuddle and granted. And who speak for this cup? said Akila. I mean, the free people who speaks. So at that time, Akila said, No right to decide. I mean, the cup, I mean, the wolves, they will decide on their own. Then the only other creature who is allowed at the back council. So there, besides wolves, there were some other animals. They are, they, they allowed to come. Balu. Who is Balu? That is another character. Balu is the sleepy brown bear. So Balu is the bear. Who teaches the wolf cubs? The lord of the jungle. So wolf cub means baby cubs. So baby cubs teacher, Balu is their their teacher. So they always listen to Balu. Balu also teaches the law of the jungle to the wolf cubs. And then here, rose upon his hind quarters and grunted. It means Balu, the brown bear. They were uh, the brown bear was there, right? The brown bear. Uh, teaches the wolf cubs about the law of the jungle. Oh, I speak for the man's cup. There is no harm in a man's cup. So, Balu said, but there, it is not dangerous. It's not dangerous. No harm. So, it means the man cup cannot give danger to them. I have no gift of words, but I speak the truth. Let him run with the pack. That is Palu's decision. Palu said, okay, it's not dangerous. Let the baby, uh, let the man cub play together with the other, other wolf cubs. So let him survive, it means. He eats only nuts and roots and honey, rose upon his hide quarter and grunted. 
You know, palu eats only roots and honey and nuts. I speak for the man's cup. There is, oh, we need yet another such akila. Palu has spoken, and he is our teacher for the yam cuts. Who speaks besides Palu? Okay, Palu has decided that uh, the mankind should be cut. How about the others? Who wants to decide? At the time, a black shadow dropped down into the circle. Circle means, you know, all the wolves were sitting in a circle, circular shape. At the time, they saw a black shadow. It was Baki, Bakiro, so another person, another animal, Bakiro. Who is Bakiro? The black panther, you know, panther. So near them, there was a panther. There was a bear. The name of the bear, uh, the, the name of the panther is Bakir. Inky black all over, but with the panther. So it means that besides the wolf's family, the Palu and Bahir, Bahira were there. Palu was the bear and Bahia was the panther. Okay, go on. Making showing up in certain lights. The last page. Okay, go on reading quickly.
So what are we reading? I, time is nearly up. I let you read the last part, but uh, we could not finish this story today. And wait, 115, 115 is finished. So I, I will read up, uh, I will let you read this one. Making showing up in certain lights. Okay. Marking showing, hmm? marking, yeah. yeah. Marking Marking showing, showing up, up in sun. Uh, something like like the pardon of water sake everyone you back hero everybody, and, and hero. Uh, everybody sorry everybody knew back hero and nobody cared to cross his part for he was as cunning as the jackal as well as the wild My buffalo, buffalo and as re reckless mm. as the wounded as reckless elephant the wounded wounded, wounded elephant. okay wounded elephants but he had a voice as soft as wild honey mm. dripping from a tree and a skin softer than tall. Mm. So up to that, uh, it means, you know, another panther. His name is Bahira, another character. Bahira was there too. Bahira was brave. And Bahira could fight. And yeah, it is compared, uh, the panther was compared with wild buffalo compared with wounded elephant, compared with, yeah, jackal. So it means that, you know, another animal like Balu, Bahira, were there at the meeting. They were discussing about the mankind in general. They, they, they are discussing whether they should keep the man guy or or they should let it let him go something like that but it could not be decided yet okay the rest will be uh, will be continue later you can continue reading hc and hd hc and ad yeah. are important hc and ad are important ah, yes. okay okay bye bye see you bye, -bye.